Hey folks, welcome to the Besides the Wrong podcast. Uh, I'm Scuba, and we're here with Craig. What is happening, Skip? Uh, not very much, man. That's fucking. Uh, that is a weird question. That's that weird. you ask it. <laughs> Shite, the answer that, isn't it? Totally, man. Uh, that band was a band called Groucho Underdog. They were playing at a kind of open mic thing on Sunday there, and uh, I recognised one of their songs because I, I knew I fucking heard it somewhere. So I was like, I'm going to have to ask the guy, what band? <laughs> what's what's the name of your band, Paul? And it was like, it was like, Kill the Underdog was like, ah, fucking, I knew that fucking song. Yeah. And that was the song there. Uh, we've never played it on the podcast, I have just heard it through sort of Blue Coo Records stuff. Uh, we've got much more to talk about for Blue Coo Records, because uh, Sean's an absolute fucking leg end. Leg end. Absolute leg end of a leg, man. Fucking believable. Like a, like a shin. <clears throat> so, aye, uh, it's been an interesting day, Craig. Apart from what you just said there, it's been a quite interesting day. Is it? Is it? What would they like? Well, I, I, I assumed we reviewed, it. We reviewed some crisps. Ah, oh, we reviewed some like terrible crisps. One packet some was sandwich. good. 
flavoured. Ah, there was a, no, I've got them here, still here. Because uh, shit. Well, the Chris we had, and these are all going to be like uh, the weekend out, Sunday reviews every day for kind of just random food, and sometimes disgusting food as well. The this is uh, the first one we done was a uh, cheese, cucumber, and salad cream crisps. Fucking. Now, if that doesn't sound appetising to you, I don't care what does. I mean, I can fuck eat that, but it's like, oh. Uh, it seems like. Can you eat that actually? Fucking. Uh, oh no, I couldn't eat that. It's the the dairy, FBI it? guy for Dexter. What one o'clock. Mean? What? It's one o'clock. I always have lunch at one o'clock. So because he has lunch at one o'clock, he would eat cheese. Cheese yumbo and cheese sandwich. Is that what it has? That's what it has. A water sandwich, basically. He, he would love the crisps. Uh, the thing I was most surprised about was like the, the cheese you'd think would be an overcoming flavour. Lundy, that's his name. Sorry. Lundy, uh, right, uh, fair uh, enough. Calm down. <laughs> cheese you'd think would be the... Or cheese or salad cream you'd think would be the overpowering flavour. But the actual overpowering flavour was the thing that's flavourless. And fairness, which is the cucumber. I've never tasted salad cream. So I don't care what salad cream tastes like. I just say I don't like it. Right. So you've not tried it? No, I've tried I it. I can you don't like it. And I, if it's anything like mayonnaise, uh, I don't fucking like it. Uh, sorry, the next one we had was fucking... Ah, oh, there you go. Ham and mustard. No, that one was... I nearly spewed after, after like half a crisp. Because... I, I can't stand mustard. I just can't fucking stand it whatsoever. It just absolutely kills me. And you weren't... You handled it no too bad, I think. I didn't think it was that bad. It was a bit sort of... Oh. Ah, it's a bit awful, like... A bit ugh. Uh, aye, so that was like my worst one. That, that killed me, man. Last one was alright, though. Last one I had was sausage and sauce, which basically was just brown sauce crisps. Uh, it was they the only seem... one we went back for me. Aye. They seem to have got some pretty cool sponsors and that behind them as well, so... Aye. There are on Earth three flavours. Aye, we need to get them. Which I ordered right. specifically to be here. Right. But uh, they gave me up. one big bag of this instead of the two wee bags of their fl- right. I ordered two wee bags of three flavours, mm. but they gave me one big bag of one flavour instead. <laughs> so That's unfortunately the substitution system uh, uh, with these kind of food deliveries is a bit annoying in that sense. Uh, one other thing uh, we also got for Tesco. Was a uh, wee fish. We got a fish. We, we got a fish. Can't do you know? Remember that? Can't you can't that remember. Man. Just to take you a backstory, we were talking last week about um, playing Jaeger pong. Um, so if you want to hear about that, you can fucking listen to, listen to last week. I can't be bored reiterating everything. But uh, basically, I won. So Craig's the stipulation we put forward was that I think about halfway through it we mentioned. That we're going to be hitting somebody with a fish, whoever lost. Aye. Uh, and Craig lost. By so, one, which is By shit. one as well. Really Unfortunately, annoying. that's just the way the fucking games work. Aye. If you lose by one, it doesn't matter. You still lose. I know, but it's just annoying to lose by one. And to be fair, I drank my drink anyway. So, there's no as if... So, you actually slapped your butt? No, really. That's not the way that works. It should be. But you lost anyway. So, today, we've done probably one of the most exciting things I've ever been waiting for. It's like... When you think about uh, like cartoons when you were younger, and like uber comedy, <laughs> like the antithesis, antithesis, yeah, fuck it, you know, antithesis. Whatever, the antithesis of a comedy, antithesis, antithesis. What you said it was the word? Antithesis. Antithesis. That's what I said. Of or comedy. Antithesis. That is better. The antithesis of a comedy is a uh, getting slapped with a fish. I think it's probably one of the most f- funniest things in the world. And uh, today I got to live out that dream. <laughs> uh, so I unwrapped the fish, slimiest wee monster I've ever had in my hand in my life, and it was like... like it is a proper whole fish, like it's oh, got yeah, yeah. the tongue and shit. I didn't think fish had tongues. Actually, it was a jaggy tongue as well. I didn't think fish had tongues. Uh, His eyes are still there, it kept staring at me. Like, I'm dead because of you. The thing is, when I turned it out, its mouth was stuck together, but eventually I kind of got unattached by squeezing it. Oh, it was beautiful. It's be- beautiful. It's fucking weird. But uh, I found out sort of like halfway through, like when I had the fish in my hand, I was like, I'm not going to be able to slap you with this. Because it's just going to slap it, with, go up my finger and hit the wall. Just fucking knock a plug off the wall or something. <laughs> so I was like, right, I'm going to get a towel. So I got a towel and wrapped it in for some... sliding about the room. Totally, man. Oh, that'd be funny. Just a sliding fish. <laughs> but uh, aye, so I, I got a wee bit of grip <laughs> and uh, smashed Craig of the skull with a fish. 
Uh, in slow motion as well. Proper good. It's good, like. Oh, yeah, proper You got me right in the jaw. You didn't get me in the cheek where it would That's the most Scottish thing I've ever heard, but. The most Scottish thing I've ever heard in my life. Oh, it was a good scud, like. It was a good scud. Fucking fun. Oh, it was a good scud. It was a good scud. The only thing... it, it was meant to hit me in the cheek where my fatness would have went. Mm-hmm. Oh. But you got me in the jaw where it's not as fat. I just knocked me the fuck out. Oh, it was quite good. Hurt. I really enjoyed it as well. Sure, you did, I? It's fantastic. I just pissed myself laughing right after it. Ah, oh, you fantastic. saw me laughing instantly. Oh. Um, you've not seen the video, have you? Aye. Have you? You know, you've seen the full thing with the sound effects and stuff. No. The music and that. <clears throat> you've got to love it. It's great because I had because um, with the camera I've got and you try to record in slow mo, there's no sound. You only get this sort of like two hundred kbpa whatever frame rates, and um, sort of you don't get any sound. You just get the good slow mo action. And it's like in a because it's in a huge frame rate, it's lower quality, which is quite annoying. But um, it looks fucking it looks cool. I quite like it. So the best looking ever is like the slow mo guys where they get like ten thousand kilobytes and or fucking whatever. And they can keep some level of quality in their camera. Exactly, exactly. And uh, so I fucking it was pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> I enjoyed that. We're going to, need to think of an air forfeit for the next. Aye, aye, time fuck play Jaeger pong. Defo man. If I'll we ever do play Jaeger Bong again. No, we will. We will. Uh, it's will be. Yeah. Um, I'd love to slap you all a lemon sole, actually. We can't just keep slapping each other with fish. It's quite cheap. And I like, I really do love lemon sole, so if I get a lemon sole, it gives me a chance to kind of slap your hell heed bit, because it's quite large. <laughs> you got a kind of hell Why are you assuming that you're going to win again? Oh, I already can, but... Well, you could hit me. I, I'm not bored about getting hit. I'm just... Fucking, I just want a lemon soul. I don't want to see somebody getting hit with a lemon soul. So is that just a, a tradition now that every time we play Jaeger Pong, yeah, the fish. loser gets hit with a fish? Oh, but we have to wait till we have the fish, because that was, we done Jaeger Pong last week, and we just got the fish today. It's about two weeks ago now. Is it? Aye. Fucking hell. So we just finished the video today, which will be up on Saturday, which is madness. That didn't way too long to shoot a video. But um, aye, it's pretty cool. So, eh... Uh, I right, just to get off that we're fucking finished with that that was that was exciting I have to say so the video will be out Saturday just to reiterate that as well um, that was a week on Saturday no you switched things I've, oh shit no no it will be a week on Saturday aye sorry right, week on Saturday aye right, there is a, quite a special video coming out on Sunday it's going to be cool yeah Saturday <coughs> sorry next Sunday that'll be it uh, Saturday <laughs> Saturday aye we were watching the documentary last night <laughs> Uh, uh, I thought we'd better. Yes, you were. I thought I'd better have a wee discussion about it. <coughs> um, oh, I love them. I love them. We watched what was it called? Going Clear or something? Like that? Clear is one of the main. Uh, the, the prison of Scientology. Going Clear or something. Aye, uh, it's a fantastic wee documentary. But, uh, wee Scientology documentary. A lot more information than I feel like Louis threw during his first one. Aye. Uh. Because a lot of them was just like, oh, why are you doing this, why are you doing that sort of thing. And, but this one actually had like sort of in-depth information. Ah, this and, went like really fucking in-depth. It's on for two hours as well, but I, I felt like it was on for two hours, but I still enjoyed all the two hours that was on. Ah. It was a, really quite interesting. Scientology is mental, isn't it? It's fucking crazy. I mean, you've got some religions and you're like, wow, you believe that, really? Ah, yeah. But then you get to Scientology and you're like, no. Nah. It's, it's when you understand the story, it like originally starts off with a guy who was quite obviously trying to scam a, the sort of IRS, try to scam them so they could keep tax money Aye. based on like and just make as much money as he could. Quite obviously a scam. He's been quoted as saying, "If you want to make money, make a religion," Aye. and he fucking made a religion. Folk are like, "Oh, it must be true." Oh, must be true. He's the one they always quote when they talk about fucking when they talk about how much just religious uh, groups take money so he's always uh, quoted and saying that kind of stuff as well as even in zeitgeist films and stuff insane um, that he's been taken seriously it's absolutely amazing and, and the fact he's designed it as well so that you have to go through multiple multiple levels Aye. and put sort of okay, well, loads like, and loads of money on each a, one it's like a, a pyramid scheme that only benefits one person oh it's incredibly fucking intricate mm-hmm. I, he is really smart for being able to scam people so easily and such high profile people who have been educated mm-hmm. in 
high universities, fucking Harvard and shit. The thing where he designed it so greatly is the fact that like, I think they were talking about the John Travolta side of things. A lot of them were talking about this as well. The fact they get you in and they kind of give you like counselling for the first fucking wee while, the first bunch of levels, until you get to the real high levels when they start to unveil the stupidity of the religion because it kind of starts off fairly easy pay a bit of money we'll give you all this counselling you'll feel better uh, about yourself it starts sort of off thing. sort of like a new age healing sort of oh yeah I mean it's well, bullshit it's but, it's, but it sounds realistic mm-hmm. but then you get to was it OT8 or something oh yeah well, one of the guys were talking about OT3 but the woman that was talking reached OT8 but OT3 is when you first, when the first, the first started, uh, insight into no. how fucking insane oh. L. Ron Hubbard oh. was as a man and again you have to remember he's a science, science uh, fiction writer terrible for science fiction writer as well apparently aye he wrote almost a thousand books in his lifetime aye and uh, probably Dianetics was one of his biggest ones that led in to fucking uh, Scientology aye so one book all that time well done and it was ah uh, it's fucking I've uh, got no idea how he done that uh, it's insane that people are believing it like, but again it's, it, it's the same thing it's fucking we talk about the uh, psychics and mediums all the time people keep believing that shit even though it's either been put forward as a fucking absolute scam it's total shit multiple fucking times Peter Popoff has been shown to be an absolute scamming cunt many millions of fucking like, times. Like, literally. I mean, his wife was heard ah. telling him shit. And he's still out doing this shit. Ah, he's a fucking motor. He's doing this kind of mail order thing now that he, he sends it like a wee tiny packets of oil. Is uh, that the thing that John Ward got involved with? Ah, yeah, he yeah. asked him to send him loads of money. That's fucking brilliant. And then he sent him some money and then he sent him back a $5 note or something. Ah, yeah. He was like, ah, you need to send me that $5 note back with an air $5 note. <laughs> John Oliver was like, what? But John, John Oliver went actually through it and just tried to figure out how much money. Just to see how far ah. it would go. It gets fucking ridiculous. Oh, it's amazing. It's fucking amazing. But Scientology is absolutely fair. I want to do my own documentary on it. Because I feel like people aren't ripping them enough. Well, that's because the problem with that is that Scientologists or the organisation around the church, mm-hmm. let's separate them. One's the business side of Scientology mm-hmm. and one's folk that genuinely believe in Scientology. The business side are corrupt fucking cunts and the people that are going to be big enough to get the documentary out there <clears throat> have got shit to lose. Yeah. And Scientology is going to fucking sue them to the fucking depths of hell Absolutely. they're going to harass the shit at them whereas if we do it we've got fuck all to lose we've got nothing to lose as well but we'll also get the documentary nowhere which is the issue I'm thinking though that if we were to get harassed that because we'd make fun of it so much I'd fucking film them directly taking, like try to film us and fucking no. just taking the time to like get behind your boring fucking lives <laughs> Would be hilarious one. They would actually make your lives more uh, entertaining. Exactly, and which therefore is hilarious. Therefore, selling the documentary as well. I think that would work, but we need to get them to harass us, <laughs> which is annoying. How, how do you even do that? You just poke them with a wee fucking Scientology stick. Just fucking poke <laughs> them for a wee while and see it, see how it goes. Well, we've started. We've started this now already. Definitely. Uh, we can, there's a Scientology, a uh, Church of Scientology <clears throat> in Edinburgh, yeah. like right across the road from Waverley. There's been to be practicing people. And Fife. That's crazy, yeah. There's bound, there has to be. It's a worldwide fucking thing. There's one in Edinburgh. There's bound to be someone close by here. Do you think there's anything like the the marine thing that we're talking about? Or the sea organisation. Sea, oh, sea org. Aye. Mm. Do you think there's anything like that here? There might fucking well be. Because there's like, because they were talking about folk that were working security for them. Oh. Just like chucked in a big house and then like essentially tortured. Oh, yeah. Mentally tortured. Physically beaten. Like proper like mafia shit was happening, oh, yeah. and these are meant to be like church people that believe in this fucking day called Zeno that fucking loves. Are you kidding? Kind of loves them. They were, when they were talking about the creation of like Earth, yeah. when they, they were talking about they'd made too many robots, and then they were like, 
oh, we'll just make planes that look like planes that humans made, <laughs> even though it was before humans, because we're telling the story of humans. No. I now he was saying everything looked like everything before the new civilization started looked exactly like it is now. Aye. And it was just changed by this new civilization of a uh, aliens led by Xeno. Led, aye. So we were all chucked in volcanoes. Aye. Which caused we <laughs> we. Spirit baby things, Themen, the, themens or something. Thems, themens. themens. Oh nice. fucking! Just ridiculousness. Just absolute nonsense. Absolute horseshite. The, I mean, they were talking about uh, volcanoes mm. that apparently didn't even exist right, as yeah, far yeah. back as they were talking about what seventy-five million years ago. They said it was. I think so. Aye, aye, aye. So seventy-five million years ago, society looked like this, mm. but then they ruined it by fucking making humans from <laughs> zero. What the fuck? It makes <laughs> fucking zero sense. It's absolutely ridiculous. Absolute mutants so believe in this shit. I will, I will tell you, if, you, if you're interested even slightly in Scientology and how mental the, all this whole thing is, that's probably the best documentary until we make yours. That's probably the <laughs> totally, best one to go totally. with. Uh, Lou Theroux's doing one. Interestingly, Lou Theroux's doing a new uh, Scientology documentary when he <laughs> actually gets a bit more in-depth uh, about the actual religion side of things Aye. which I'm hi- highly interested and because Scientology is so fucking protective of their secrets and they want to out everybody that's trying to out them they're filming a documentary about Louis through filming a documentary about them <laughs> and they're releasing it a month later <laughs> I found it a month after or, no sorry he's either a month after or before Louis's not entirely sure but they're doing a documentary on him what's the, what, what are they gaining <laughs> for doing that because that's for their followers because they'll I'm assuming oh to throw them off the set aye, absolutely I'm assuming that they'll film loads of fucking stuff that Louis Theroux's filming they'll cut the bit suit that exposes the uh, the religion and then put in bits that make him look like an idiot to oh, them, aye, to oh, them. Absolutely, aye. To even look they'll probably bring up Savile's for the Savile documentary they're guaranteed they'll bring that up and they'll show the new video that so was they'll released. They'll say that Louis through had something to do with it. Aye, aye, do. Aye, exactly. Because because Louis even says they were pals <laughs> for ages after the fucking aye. Uh, the documentary. They were pals. So Louis through clearly was raping babies. And yes. Like that. So I, I can. Oh, fucking, that's totally gonna be. And I'm looking forward to seeing it because I know it's absolute shite, and I'm looking forward to watching it. It's gonna Everything be Louis amazing. through makes is amazing. I, I know. I, I love I the fucking bits, love man. Louis through. Totally, absolutely fantastic. But, uh, I, quite clearly the best documentary maker oh, in the fuck world I. And, until we do until we do aye, until we do one but aye uh, we've got an uh, air documentary in the works haven't we well hmm, there was a kind of off the cuff idea yesterday if anybody remembers a drink called Big Beastie when you were 14 uh, Big Beastie and Wee Beastie uh, literally no difference it was just bottle size it's the size. same it's a, bottle, a big bottle and a wee bottle uh, they actually were supposed to be making iron brew versions as well which was in the original design concepts I've seen. So that would have just been WKD Iron Brew. Basically, right. And a lemon one as well. Which would have been just really WKD. Because it was Big Beastie. Uh-huh. But yeah, I... They were Fucking living... love Big uh-huh. Beastie, Lord. But uh, we looked today a documentary because I, I knew it was discontinued and I didn't know the reasons why. But once you find out the reasons why, I didn't want to go into it because I wanted to leave it for the, docu- for the documentary if we do do it. I fucking um, loved Big Beastie when I was right. like 15. Listen, I loved it as well, but it, it wasn't a thing you can go out with your pals and here. No, because you needed six right. or seven, right. maybe eight Big Beasties. It was like to any kind drunk. of alcohol pop thing, sort of thing. Aye. You needed to carry too much yet to get drunk. Mm-hmm. It just wasn't practical when you're walking That's about it. the streets drinking. So we're hopefully going to make <laughs> as a, a child. Aye, a wee mini documentary, I'm assuming. It's, it's not going to be any longer like than. Five, ten minutes. Like. Aye. <laughs> but we, you could do a short thing, that would be. Aye, aye, fuck aye. I've seen short mini documentaries. I've seen documentaries like three minutes and stuff. What's the pointless? Just like me, <laughs> mini autobiographies and shit. Mini, day, uh, aye, crazy shit. So uh, we'll hopefully do something like that soon. I'm quite interested in digging deep into that. Dig deep into Big Beastie one. Aye, it's, it's quite interesting. Dope as fuck. So uh, that's, what be, that's pretty much what we've been up to, innit? That's the plans, Lord, aye. Uh, oh, fucking hell. Uh, Beyond the Veils videos were released this week and the podcast. Oh, aye, fuck. Mm-hmm. Jesus, we've had quite a busy fucking week. Aye, we have, aye. I've been fucking we've been working so much on these music things that that are finally starting to come out uh, is a bit mental aye uh, aye yeah, totally starting to forget where shit started and well that's what I'm saying I, I just missed Elleron uh, an interview I'd set up a few weeks ago uh, because we're thinking about this, this podcast right now 
I totally forgot I'd set up a, another interview with somebody else, uh, which we're going to do schedule after this, which is pretty cool. I'm looking forward to doing that. But uh, as I say, we'll try to book guests and stuff like that it's as well. It's good to have a full schedule, then. Oh, yeah, I'm loving it. I'm fucking thinking. It's pretty fun. Aye, oh, it's good. I think because we've got the videos running at the same time as the podcast and shit like that, it's, it's, it's fucking awesome. Ah. It's great to have a wee kind of schedule on the go. And you've got me a planned as well, with this, I think, maybe. Aye, fuck aye, thanks to Sean. Again, Blue Crew uh, Records head on show, we're going to call him. Sean's essentially way through, it. but in music. Is he? I think so. We'll, we'll call him that, we'll call him. Call him that. He's quite tall, to be fair. Aye, Louis Evans. <laughs> cool. Uh, so I for fucking looking forward to working with Sean because he sh- Sean actually decided he wanted to do mayor music sessions right. which we never forced on him because we can that's we, we planned it to be four right. we planned four sessions mm-hmm. I was it yeah. but as long as Sean is willing to keep doing them right. we'll keep fucking interviewing cunts absolutely man we'll keep getting in touch with people we're more than happy to continue doing that because it's Fuck well that. fun and I enjoy being there in the studio. I enjoy watching the work happen. No day anything. I enjoy watching the work happen. It's a great description of what you do. Well, when you when you are all recording shit, I'm just uh, listening to Sean. Or me uh. and Sean will talk about uh, <coughs> his uh, glass balls and a uh, BPA free plastic and a nine eleven conspiracy theories and shit. No, for fuck's sake. We 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 have long conversations while you're recording three minute songs. Uh. It's amazing that's really an experience <laughs> fuck's sake anyway so I uh, probably may have that coming uh, we've got a session booked for next Saturday we'll try to get some, some bands booked so uh, that's going to be pretty fucking interesting as well well up for that well up for that well shit recently a bit music time man uh, you cool with you going to music I'm more than happy to go with music I've German, got fuck man. all uh, there's no news there's hardly any news I've got four news stories we can go through they'll probably be quite quick I'll explain why I've got no news ah. after the song. Cool, man, we'll do that, we'll do that. This next song is by our good friend Next One. Ah, nice. Mr Zane Grieve. This track's called Abstract. <laughs> I'm abstract with these opinions Heart weight black and Indian Amphibious with my resilience So my potential often came across oblivious Until I figured out my route for this experience Dare consider yourself a I make a drop like that when Nick is steady Getting ready as it's done Sun shaking like a shadow in the shade Sitting in the rain shine like look at what I made I never stop like that Cause I'm in it for the same Reason that I started this We put our heart in this It's hard to see the people wanting more So they can martyr this A part of it is they want that hip hop fake But trust my they don't wanna lift that leg Cause shit's not nice when you're gridlock Living in a system not right Trying to pick lock life It's real out there Brothers trying to make a bill and get a deal out there Mother's trying to make a meal out there Hey you trying to tell me that you don't feel out there These motherfuckers out there They was something real out there Nah, I swear they ain't Cause the same rules apply and I bet they never change I'm trying to elevate and separate myself from all this terror away Can give the people something they can really celebrate Fuck the hype and all they do is sell the same shit Bottled up emotion and they label that sensation Never catch me on that race shit Like no matter what the colour of your face is We going through the same shit, it's ancient Back to the basics, you play the part and say the same shit In situations and all these rappers make me wanna lose my fucking patience All they do is chat about their movements on the pavement, shit, but I can't blame them, no. I guess it's really how it is, that's why I do my own thing, I'm on a level I'm fucked with, I'm rolling by my ones and I'm never gonna settle, so fuck clicks, they're using one another for success, they need to quit, I do this shit for fun just cause I want this to say, look ahead and I'll let go, I echo in the past, sometimes it's the same, all same and effect though, I let go and I laugh, sometimes it's the same, same and effect though I echo in the past Sometimes it's the same Look ahead and I'll let go I echo in the past Sometimes Taking it back to being a human being Back before this fame and shit had happened In fact, do you believe it? If you could see them for who they were Then you wouldn't need them It's too deceiving, achieving It's something you couldn't even reason on And acting on a slate I wouldn't want to beat them If I hadn't gone on stage I'm me like that Be like that And I feel like that So how these motherfuckers out there They were ever something real like that Nah, I swear to you, cause the same rules apply and I bet they never change I went from 
fed away to levitate. I excavate is setting sun in a sonic son of a comet. When I set the pace, demonstrate. Don't hesitate to keep it grounded. Walk in my circle and who's around it. Yeah, Yo, you've lost it. Now nah, rough, I found it. In countless amounts of hours, I found it. I found in this pen leaks. I'm bleeding my surroundings. Seeing what they're telling me, I'm best believe I'm feeling that's astounding. And seeing was a sound, and hearing was a feeling on a mountain. Imagine if the ceiling wasn't bound, it's the same. Look ahead and I'll let go. I echo in the past, sun times it's the same. All same and effect though. I echo and I laugh, sun times it's the same. That was next one and Bamboo. There's a track called Abstract, man. Dope. Love Zane stuff, man. It's dope. fucking brilliant. It's always dope. Love it. Always will be dope. Defo, man. Defo. Dopeness. As I say, check the description uh, on sort of we'll re-release this on the Friday after we do it live. So check the descriptions for links to check out the artists and stuff like that for themselves. Um, fantastic, man. You want to get me some new stories? You ever seen Nardwar? Uh, aye, I have. Aye, aye. Not many time, many the human serviette. Yeah, aye. aye. I watched him do a thing with Nas. Did you? Aye. He's had some quite big stars on there, like. Aye, he only seems to interview celebrities. Ah. And as he seems to get some quite tense people. Mm. People that I just didn't, I have quite clearly got a publicist that is getting them things without telling them. What they are. Aye. Or people that just aren't caring about who they're doing interviews with and just wanting to get as much publicity as possible uh, but they're doing it badly now that's it I've seen some people excited that they're getting uh, to Mark Miller there. was so excited uh, Rugged Man and that as well was like oh the fuck how did you get this shit Hannibal so Boris was, uh, he's known that he's oh, <laughs> oh, right. I have to check that out man even Quality. DJ Premier was quite cool on it as well uh, he's been doing it for years as well he had like Drew Barrymore in 95 and shit like that oh well. he fucking, uh, he's been doing it for because uh, I thought it was a recent thing but no 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 he's a fucking legend in the game like Mm. total legend what what made you bring that up anyway? I had no idea I was watching him the other day and I just popped it in my head like would you not like to be like he's legendary and known just for interviewing celebrities oh. imagine if we got to that point where we were interviewing celebrities I'm better for them Scottish celebrities <laughs> well what would Nardwar interviewing us that'd be funny that'd be fucking aye because I reckon we play along with <clears> him quite well he would just bring a trout in but you remember this <laughs> I totally fuck off welcome to Vancouver British Columbia <laughs> it is a fucking stillness for ages. Arkson Brunson was like, like a fucking just shaking his dick for like in front of the thing. Get what Nas done when he done that. Do 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 do. Nas said peace, and then Nadwa was like, not quite. Let's try again. Do 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 do. And Nas just went instantly aggressive. He was like, oh, the interview's over, man. Like fuck's sake, fuck's sake Nas. Fucking lighten up. Just hear, just hear we do do. Oh, fuck fuck's sake. sake. You have to get a wee do do, bud. You need a wee do do. It's fucking brilliant, man. Can't he beat a do do? No, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. I'd be so excited to get a fucking interview up in. <laughs> I thought I'd do do all day, like. I love it. Fucking do do, it's me. Need do it. Need do it. Uh, so I, let's get into some fucking new stories, man. Let's calm this shit down. Uh, you see this the other day? Uh, Woman claims to have caught Banksy on camera spray painting in Melbourne probably bullshit in it uh, well she spotted a guy a uh, what looked like he was spray painting somewhere on the wall or just doing like a sketch thing she went there to it and found it and it said Banksy and she was like <gasps> like that and kind of went after him and he turned around and he was like you know fuck off and shit like that but uh, aye didn't look anything like the picture of the but the kid what Banksy looks like <clears throat> is that definitely him I think it was confirmed though aye oh. Was his name Robin Gunningham or something? I don't know what his name is, but... Something like that. Someone Gunningham, if I remember correctly. But it, I don't know if he definitely looked like him or not, but... It he could also quick. just be like, I've just been <clears> caught <throat> vandalising shit. Could also be fake. Could just be a guy with a, hair, with a hairspray be. fucking tin. Just spray away and... Because it looked a bit faked. But, as you know, the internet, you never fucking know these things, man. Aye. I'll wait to let you see it afterwards. To be honest, I'm surprised... It takes so long for Banksy to be caught. Oh, yeah. I wonder if he's got his name here. Robin Gunningham or something. I'm looking for. In a fucking Channel 4 documentary. Ah, oh, but that was the uh, fucking. Uh, through the gift shop. Through the gift shop. Uh, exit through the gift shop. E- exit through the gift shop. Uh, there's a lot of people saying that, that uh, <clears throat> the picture of Robin Gunningham, if you put that beard that the guy had 
and a heart like the guy had the main guy for exit through the gift shop that was him I think in reverse a conspiracy theory I know there might be fucking I don't know you know, you never know with Banksy no he also done a thing Banksy could there. just hear a pal that, that wants there. to take this I reckon if you I think Banksy would Banksy seems like he would be too mm. chilled like that he'd just be like although maybe he wouldn't oh they fucking get <laughs> Quite, he done a wee thing he just done wee sketches on like blank canvases and like sold them in the, in the middle of the street and they got an old guy to sell them sitting there smoking a fag eh, for like $60 or something like that and fucking didn't say it was any but it was banky stuff it was just all banky stuff all originals as well that he'd done his sale and uh, people were coming up and buying wee bits some women asked for like a 50% discount and shit because a lot of them just didn't know who the fuck it was but how do you prove it was Banksy that done that though well it was it, just, it was Banksy it was put on his channel Banksy's got a channel Ban- Banksy has a YouTube channel you know looking about that doesn't yeah. do very much on it but doesn't do vlogs or anything doesn't that no I imagine no. gaming videos <laughs> sorry it's pretty inter- it was interesting didn't care if it's entirely true or no but it's pretty cool uh, at this point the fact that he's still is he, mm. is he trying to be anonymous because he doesn't want to be famous or is he trying to be anonymous because of legal issues maybe legal issues Could, but if it's legal probably issues a, he wouldn't hear a fucking YouTube channel probably a part and parcel of just being sort of one of the most well known artists in the world now is that that's probably part of his mystique now that it's become that he's, he's not known nobody can see who he is no but, uh, do you think he's like close family in that kind of who he is Oh fuck it, probably. Maybe, shit, maybe no. It's maybe really, really fucking nice that keeping everything quiet. Aye, Although a lot of the graffiti artists to meet, to meet some face to face, they all can who he is, and not one of them a fucking blab. So big up to them as well. Aye, that's crazy. Because somebody was like, hey, "Take that video down." Banks will not be happy and shit like that. There was loads of people complaining that the guy was a snitch. They put the video up. The women, sorry, it's stupid shit, man. <coughs> On to more stupid shit. Uh, would you buy any of them trainers? Vans finally unveils highly anticipated Toy Story collaboration trainers. No, I don't like any of that kind of shit, man. <laughs> the kind of over uh, over animated trainers and stuff like that, the kind of heavy colours. They're all right for the your kind of your hip hop enthusiasts. Is that one on the left made it with his hat? Could well be. Could well be. I could be made in the style of a cowboy boot or something like that. But that's always a buzz There's like your There's a snake in my boot. Alright, that's always a buzz, a buzz like your thing. There's like the cactus and the kind of forest thing. I think what the fuck that is. The second for the right is the potato head. That one? I think so. And that is obviously the wee aliens. Aye. Uh, but I, I, I thought it was a quite cool wee thing to bring up. But. Aye. Pretty fucking much. Next story. Next story. <laughs> It's about a shite story, but I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, jobs created and a demo held at Amazon and Fife. Did you hear about this? I watched the video. Oh, yeah, we we'll, we'll watched a few videos, but they, it's actually been put in the... What website is that? Fife Today, the East Fife Mail. Uh, the Amazon head honcho has put a wee thing out. Uh, Amazon has announced that it is looking for thousands of workers to work at its Fife base over the Christmas and New Year period. The company has already started recruiting seasonal employees for its Dunfermline Fulfillment Centre and is looking for a total of 4,000 to help cover the festive period. There's a quite interesting bit. Uh, ah, yeah. John Tagawa, Amazon's Vice President of UK Operations, said that the thousands of seasonal associates who join us at this time each year play an integral role in helping us deliver an exceptional experience for our customers during the Christmas season. We look forward to welcoming back the people who join us each and every Christmas as well as many new faces who will be joining the Amazon team for the first time. He added, as we continue to grow our network, there will be opportunities for people who join us in seasonal roles to transfer to permanent opportunities, eh, permanent positions. Oh. Uh, Do you know what that integral role is? <clears throat> what? Fucking slave labour is what <laughs> that integral role is. This is where it moves on. Uh, but the company was forced to defend itself over allegations of Dickensian work practices during a demonstration at its Dunfermline premises last week. Tom Kirby, your boy, Tom, uh, of the Five, Pe- Five People's Assembly Against Austerity, 
said there were similar similarities between Amazon and Sports Direct. He said, It's the same six strikes and you're out, the same constant fear of being sacked, the same use of zero hours and short term contracts, use of the same employment agencies and the complete anti union position of the company and the agency and the agencies it uses. A spokesman for Amazon said, We care for and value this is obviously just bullshit as well. bullshit we care for and value our, our employees and maintain a culture of direct dialogue with them. People are employed in a range of positions from operations managers to engineers, HR and IT roles to employees who will handle orders at the fulfillment centres. Oh, that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> I wait, wait, came so... Wait. <clears throat> uh, Amazon employees do not have zero-hour contracts. Currently over 95% of our temporary employees work a 40-hour week. Outside of the Christmas period, the majority of our total UK fulfillment centre workforce is made up of permanent employees. Like most companies, Amazon also has a fair and predictable system to re- record employee attendance. And the clincher at the end, Amazon is proud to be a significant contributor to the economy in Scotland. Oh, <laughs> I'd love to hear Bill reply to that. <laughs> well, I, I was totally wishing he would come on today because I, I knew I was going to bring this story up. I did contact a few people to talk about it, but uh, it was fucking interesting. Just that wee bit at the end. The annoying thing is that I know a bunch of folk that have worked at Amazon, mm, and they here. would quite <clears throat> quickly say, what? That's pish. Oh, yeah. They're just fucking lying. Mm-hmm. Sure, maybe maybe the dread day zero-hour contracts. In fairness, the people that I've seen working at Amazon, they've never had a zero-hour contract. Mm. So that might be true, that part. But... They didn't hate direct fucking contact, and, and even if the even if a boss speaks to somebody that's working <clears> in the factory, they don't fucking care. No, but no fucking interest in what the worker feels like. You're on your feet. You're working a, a fucking ten hour shift. You're on your feet for nine and a half of the hours. Oh yeah. You're working solidly. It's ridiculously <clears> hard labour. You're getting paid the fucking minimum wage, maybe just above minimum wage, but I think it is minimum wage most of the time think so I... you, like they don't fucking they're fucking liars mm-hmm. the IT cunts are getting paid above minimum wage probably the, yeah, like the managers are getting paid above minimum wage but the the shite factory workers are just fucking chucked in a big factory like fucking battery chickens and <laughs> left chickens. fucking walk about with big boxes all the time <laughs> fucking liars oh. I hate Bill's got me to hate Amazon to the point that he hates Amazon. The thing Amazon. is, if I go, go for this again, it didn't actually lie. He just bypassed the question. But if you remember what Tom said, uh, the guy says, uh, we care for and value our, our employees and maintain a culture of direct dialogue with them. People are employed in a range of positions from operations managers to engineers, HR and IT uh, roles to employees who will handle orders at the fulfillment centres. That's uh, redundant and even statement. more the rest of these, all, all the rest of the stuff, he never actually stuck up for his sale at all. That they? was a redundant statement. People are employed in different roles. Oh, oh, well, yeah. Yes, generally. <laughs> that's how, that's that's how, business how a business would work. You can't just employ loads of factory yeah. workers to run your IT. That would turn out badly. I'm dying that's to find... not hardly a fucking defence. I wonder if there's anybody that works for Amazon that are like actually sticking up for Amazon. Or they were like, they've seen the demonstrations outside, mate. Oh, fucking idiots. We say, get a job. Get a job, sort of thing. Uh, guaranteed, there's loads of folk that are, uh, would say that because they've got a, a, a wage. Uh, that's a shit slave wage, and they're being forced to work way more than they're getting paid for, uh, and they're still relying on fucking working tax credits, and they're still getting fucking their hoods paid for them by the government because fucking Amazon's not paying enough, <laughs> and then Amazon doesn't pay its taxes, and then. They fucking pretend they're doing good for the community. I, I love how they think because they because they're, they are contributing, but just not enough. Well, so they say they're the, contributing, the and then that's it. It was explained. Bill explained that actually. Yeah. We keep going back to Bill. Bill's just the guy we always <laughs> reference. Bill explained how they're not contributing anything to the economy. They're losing us money. We spent all that money building it. Taxpayers' mm. money built it. Then taxpayers' money. <clears throat> is uh, keeping it gone mm-hmm. then they didn't pay any more tax and so there's nothing happening <laughs> there's an economic growth in the sense that money's kind of moving a, bit, a wee bit yeah. but it's just staying in Dunfermline no. there's nothing really happening they're just sucking up all the fucking slave labour 
<laughs> and like chucking it corporate fucking pish. Oh. It's amazing that you get like kind of really, really nicely spoken spokesmen, really nice people. Or well, well uh, no, sorry, actual assholes. Problem is, to speak on behalf of them, that it's easy to lie. Mm-hmm. Why is nobody pointing out that it's a lie? I love what the, the newspaper kind of went past that they never sort of put in their own argument towards it. No, they so never asked they. for a clarification. No. Just, a lot of newspapers do that, man. You're made to be a journalist. Journalists are supposed to be the best people for getting an understanding and they've became fucking shells. I hate that word. <laughs> but they became fucking shells. They're just... You'll notice that you'll notice that with a lot of you can East Five Mail in particular. They'll just go and get a story. They'll contact both sides. They'll let them say their piece. Then that's it. They don't sort of delve as deep as they can. They don't find try and find out the fucking underlying meaning behind the story. There's no narrative. There's no attempt to get the truth ah, either. There's no narrative. It's just here's this guy, here's that guy. Boom. That's what they said. The story. Doesn't matter if the, what yeah. they said was true or no. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it's absolutely fucking ridiculous, man. It's just fucking laziness as well. Just shitty journalists just getting jobs as journalists mm-hmm. because they can write five paragraphs. That's it. And it's five ship. Have you noticed that paragraphs in newspapers have turned into sentences? Well, like this one. Aye. <laughs> it's a sentence. There's like loads of them as well. So it looks like a lot of writing, but uh, like, it's mostly space. It's just loads of, loads of sentences. <laughs> They're like cutting quotes into like four bits and shit as well. Huh. It's badness, man. <clears throat> this next story is a, our school is safe. Oh, that, this is about a uh, leaving the academy. Aye, because aye, there's been a, a video going about of a, a guy, and he was smashing a lassie's head into the flare or something. Right, I never seen it, but the, the, on the page on there it says it's been tinned in. Right. So aye, I never actually seen the video. Do we not see that ever happen? Well, what I said was because they've got that big balcony at the dinner hall. That if somebody decides, oh, um, they fucking oh, they like you. Just gonna go fling them out of the, the balcony. <laughs> That's what I assume is going to happen at some point. Somebody's going to be flung out of the balcony. Why he that in the skill? Why he an area that you could openly throw somebody off? I would never fucking do that if I was designing a building. It's maybe it's the the flawed assumption that people are generally good. No. And are maybe, people generally maybe they good? are generally, but there's always going to be that arsehole. You go with thousands of people going in every year. Aye. There's going to be one cunt. There's going to be one fucking cunt every year. <laughs> Uh-huh. Is it, there'll be ten but that's what I'm saying uh, aye there's, that's a design flaw in the building but the, there's a design flaw in people sometimes that fucking just allows them to just be knobs and that video you were talking about in particular is just fucking I've not seen it but we've seen loads of fucking other things like the same thing just like, fucking but, idiots but man. the way people were acting as if oh that would never happen in my day Oh yeah, yeah. I've fucking did seen loads of people. Day. Maybe, maybe I didn't. Mm. I did I never saw a guy hitting a woman like that. Mm. But I saw f- two or three guys uh, stomping on a guy oh. before. I'd saw a bunch of people smashing one person. Mm-hmm. I'd saw. I'd seen a uh, one guy getting uh, pushed about into different people. Uh, no let out the 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 front bit of the hall. Mm-hmm. Getting out with the dinner hall. Oh, it's going to be too matter. tough to, it doesn't matter but like sort of bullied in that way that happened I remember somebody saying that I uh, oh, fair enough there was loads of fights in Scotland that bit at least we didn't film it on our phones yes you fucking did I was like maybe in Craig's years <laughs> we didn't have fucking we had the Nokia 3210 how the fuck were we going to film oh, it oh well you didn't film it on your oh, aye, it was, it was but you couldn't though it was, you didn't have phones saying, it was somebody from my era that was talking my era Somebody from our years that were talking about fucking loose. We didn't film on our phone. I was like, there was, there was. You because you couldn't. You could that was not the only that. reason you didn't the film only thing on your you phone. You could do on your phone was play Snake. Aye. That's it. That's a terrible argument. Oh, aye, yeah. aye. It was terrible. It was fucking stupid, man. I think they were even thinking about it as well. I'll tell Actually, you how it was after it. That's bullshit. Uh, about the thing I just said about uh, there was never a guy hitting a woman. There was a guy that was hitting a woman. It was a gay guy, right? A. Uh, and a lassie had called him a bitch or something. All right. I don't care what happened. And he just grabbed her by the hair and started flinging her about like a fucking Jesus. mental case. 
But because yeah. he was gay, it was oh, a sort of, yeah, yeah. it was a kind of homophobic acceptance thing mm. that it's fine that he's gay, but he's a woman, so he could batter women. Oh, right, oh, Whereas yeah, other totally. guys that are straight, can he? It's kind of a weird, oh, a right. weird sort of. You're trying to be accepting of a homosexuality, even though you're it's new to you, because mm-hmm. that was about the time it was new. Oh. <laughs> it was new, but it was also <laughs> new thing, man. a thing where you're discriminating and saying that he's akin to a woman, oh. which is also discriminating in the sense that you're saying women are less than. <clears throat> on you go, Stephen. So unfortunately, a never-ending uh, thing with that. <laughs> it really like, is. That was a, a tough time. Gender to stereotyping has become actually so much to the point that I'm never going to be able to fucking keep up with this gender stereotypes nah. and. It, I'm stuck on LGBT. There's been a new letter added. I can't remember what the fuck it was. Q. Q. What was the Q about? Queer. Queer. Queer's an extra one. Aye. I thought queer... See, my day... Queer is just to cover the rest of it. Right. But then they've got LGBTQ+. Plus. What was the point in the plus if you've added queer? Uh, something could... I, I'm, I'm open-minded. I'm an mm. open-minded person. Absolutely. I don't fucking care... What your pronoun you want? What pronoun you want me to use? Mm. But if I fuck up, don't just assume that I'm a dick. Oh, yeah. Like, and also I want a real explanation of why something's a thing. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not just gonna accept it because I'm open minded person. Mm-hmm. I also need a reason. You need clarification in some aye. sense. Aye. That's it. So aye. I, I, I could just imagine you get whatever thing they are wrong. And they're like. <gasps> You're not, that's unacceptable. I'm like, ah, eh, well, I, I just didn't care what it was called. And they'd be like, aye, fuck you. I saw fuck a video the other day. against me. It's a, it's a, a trans <clears throat> man called Milo. Right. Who uh, claimed that there's at least 76 genders. Jesus. And so me, with my open-minded rationality, went, <clears throat> right, let's go through as many genders as I could possibly explain mm-hmm. I got to six and I cannot get any further and even past four I was stretching it a bit because <laughs> you, you're going to because I added in gender fluid which I still don't really understand and agender which to me would be the same as gender fluid right I, I don't know and there would air for our male female trans male trans female I could there's like there's things because I can accept them alright there's things but just, even then even then trans male is just a male alright and trans female is just a female mm-hmm. so I'm still just at two so there's a lot of these things explained as such things as you're a man you're a straight man and you've been that all your life but sometimes you maybe like today sort of a, a womanly thing now and again then you're just a straight man. You're just a straight likes... man that's enjoyed that. that but there's is... names for it. As oh, well. I can. There's names for it. But at what point do you need to? Like, am, am I? Am I? This is the thing. Me and Ian. I was saying. What Ian, am I? I had a Maduri on Saturday. But this is the thing. I was, I was like say, Maduri. I, uh, I don't speak feminine. I don't act feminine in any way. But I also know fuck all about uh, stereotypically male. Topics like cars, oh, and DIY. And DIY, and electronics and stuff football. like that, Aye. and football. Uh, but also, don't play with Barbie dolls and watch keep on anime, anime, <laughs> or anything like that. So, am I gender fluid, or am I a guy that can't fucking do DIY? <laughs> and where where does it change where from it? Where, being no. a guy to being gender fluid, or is it based on purely what you think? And if oh, yeah. then, that's fucking useless. Uh, being subjective in your own head means fucking nothing to anybody else. Mm-hmm. The whole point of labels is that it's meant to be an objective thing to let somebody ken what you are. Mm-hmm. When you when I say that I'm straight, you know what that means. You know I'm male, so being straight means I'm attracted to females only. Mm-hmm. I'm not attracted to males. I'm not attracted to transgender people. No offence, right? <laughs> you know what that means. But yeah. if somebody's just gender fluid because they decided that they're a bit mere into cars as a female, mm-hmm. whereas I'm not gender fluid, even though I don't care anything about cars and I'm a guy, that means nothing at that point. No. You're not explaining anything. 
they're just taking everything to like fucking ridiculous levels as well aye. Just, uh, it's, uh, it's just a bit insane that's fucking fair enough but but then maybe maybe as Bill Muir said I'm fucking stupid and maybe I'm old maybe I take in has Bill Muir spoke about this as well Bill Muir oh Bill Muir right right did I say Bill Muir? Bill Burr. Oh, yeah, you said Bill Muir. Oh, I meant Bill Burr. Right. A funnier version of Bill Muir. <laughs> so, aye, fucking, uh, uh, it's an interesting topic, man. We should get somebody in that talks about all that stuff. Who? Who the fuck do you... In Fife? Aye, because there's no very many gay people in Fife. No, I... I, I there's I, a guy that openly talks about on BBC Social <coughs> about how there's no gay things in Fife. Aye. No gay stuff. No. No clubs. Like, where are you going to put it? <laughs> like... Next door to Oh no, they're not like that. No, just straight dudes. Oh, the fucking faggots about here, man. Oh, the, that's the faggot pub. Oh. They fuck, use the word faggot here, or do they still use the word poof? What is the homophobic word I'm of choice? Probably poof. Poof. Is that they can many, like, openly homophobic people? No. No. So I don't know what they would use. No, I thought they had, like, shit left or something. No, I I'd even, I barely can. Buffy. Buffy. It's probably Buffy's probably more Scottish, um, I would say. Aye, but that's passionate. Aye. But that's anyway. Let's move on for that. Yeah. Aye, but uh, still, game is on tomorrow night. Looking forward to it. Uh, no, well, yeah, aye, in a way, in a way. Here's, I'm looking forward to reviewing it. Me and anything else. In a way that I'm not looking forward to it is that I'm worried that it's going to be bad, and aye. I'm going to say it's bad, and then fuck are going to hate me because they liked it. That's what I'm worried about. But I hope it's good. I really hope it's good. Mm-hmm. But will it be good to us? It'll be good to well, everybody that's... else, like Mrs. Brown's boys. But no, 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 I think, uh, I think that's an unfair comparison. Is it? Mrs. Brown's boys in a still game. Aye, aye, in fact, that, that have been unfair in that sense. Aye, aye, aye Mrs. Brown's boys, far. Better. And, and, <laughs> fuck off. There's a joke, there's a joke. The uh, uh, still game is far superior. Aye. By quite a... And we're going, to, we're going to try and guess what will be the funny bit. That you remember in five years, but you don't right. remember the rest of the episode. What, what, what is it you remember for the, the first uh, six seasons? For the first six seasons. What would be the standard moment in the first six seasons? Two pints prick. Which or, one? or when Winston kicks his, horn, uh, kicks his leg at the window. Fucking... That, that's uh, quite funny, that bit. Well, one thing, I remember... There's loads of bits. Me, loads of bits. me and Darren always, always giggle about this. It's when uh, they're playing cards in the pub, mm-hmm. and uh, he's talking about Bobby's talking about how they've no bought a pint for ages, mm-hmm. and Victor says, uh, "Can't play cards, steaming Bobby. Got to remain focused." And Bobby says, "Oh, fuck it's you, right at the door." <laughs> then they start taking the piss at him, uh, and saying like, "I'll focus my belt on your ass and start getting get examples of par and then. <laughs> Eric pops in way I mean take a flying focus to yourself <laughs> that's the bit that I always remember yeah. I don't know why it's a stupid bit it's not like it's not a, a clever witty bit no. it's just stupid and fucking hilarious <laughs> I mean take a flying focus to yourself <clears throat> there's a lot of that Scottishness that comes out in this this programme that a lot of other people don't understand no. it's, I've seen a few English folks sharing the new trailer like yeah that's cool. I reckon how much they understand. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know. But there's a certain Scottishness in it that it's the cheekiness a lot of the time. It's good to try and get somebody to define that though as well. It's pretty cool. I'd like to watch it with somebody that's like English or Canadian or something. Mm-hmm. See, see how many times they go. <coughs> what does that mean? <laughs> well, they say the word purple and they just get confused. Aye, because I take a lot of the jokes for granted. But oh. I'm Scottish, so... That's it. Right, well... Uh, Thank you to everybody joining the podcast. We'll get the, the still game review up, up in the morning mm-hmm. immediately after we fucking do it. Because I think we can probably do that quite soon after. Totally. Uh, I'm going to go through my usual uh, shite. Uh, weekly podcast on Tuesdays and Fridays if you want to check us. Uh, speaker.com forward slash user forward slash BTN podcasts. So follow us. Uh, click the kind of follow button to be updated with kind of live streams, new episodes, all that kind of key. Uh, you can check out a website btnpodcast.weebly.com check Besides the Norm on YouTube and if you like and subscribe like a few videos go and check them out uh, subscribe if you can it's a big fucking red button that says subscribe on it it's easy to click we need more subscribers it's annoying that people don't subscribe all the time if you don't care how to use YouTube get to know click subscribe <laughs> might do a tutorial on how to use YouTube <laughs> 
Uh, Facebook, besides the normal podcast on Facebook, at BTN Pod on Twitter. And of course, send us hate mail. Send us hate mail on besides the norm at gmail.com. Yet Thank to you. Receive any hate mail? No, nah, no, yeah. Which is normally a good thing. I'll never receive emails about emails I've sent out. That's right. the only time I ever get emails. But anyway, that's all our fucking stuff to check. If you do that in a row, that'd be fucking fantastic. Just rewind back. I'm not doing it all again because I keep doing that. You've got a scorn for your troubles. No. Uh, so I check us out. Fucking fantastic. Uh, next week we're going to be doing a bit of a ode to Hector Berserk. We'll play three tracks for Hector Berserk. Maybe talk about them a wee bit. Totally. It'll be quite interesting, man. Up for doing that. So we'll be doing that next week. Three tracks for Hector Berserk. A wee bit of chat. It'll be awesome. So this is a song that I've played to you many times. I think you've started to like it. This is a B Charlotte. A Machines, the Bree. I'm never singing again. Oh, I, I, I like right. that song. There you go. But do you only like it because I've played it multiple times? Probably. Is that the reason? Maybe, I reckon. You're a total radio. Uh, I have no idea. See, no. I like Evanescence. And that sounds a bit like the kind of thing that Evanescence. Does it? Would... I reckon I can't remember what the song is. I think is. you'd be fucking annoyed at you if you see, if you see that. I think things. I might have mixed up a song, haven't I? Aye, aye. Maybe. I'll play it now. This is a B Charlotte, Machines That Breathe. Peace.